It was always on fire Our house, our dreams We were dancing on a wire Reckless, it seemed Found holes in these walls. We like what we saw. Seems so strong until it falls. The fire must fall. road trip uh, we're doing this campground uh, review this is post post COVID last time we did a review on this campground we stayed down here of course COVID wasn't in the picture uh, but we came down for a month and uh, <laughs> my hair is crazy it's windy it's we, hot. we came down here for a month this is January let me show you something, let me show you something. look down there Moses I know. Are you outside? We came down here for a month uh, here in January to escape the cold weather from North uh, uh, Alabama, South Tennessee, where it was snowing when we left, ice and snow. And it is 78 degrees today, and humidity, 95% humidity. It's supposed to be in the 50s tomorrow, I think. Uh, storming a little bit and uh, and windy so you look at my hair and Dina's hair today it is very windy it's wonderful but it's great it's not cold that's the main thing so we're gonna show you a little bit around this is gonna take the dogs out to go do their business and we'll show you where we take them and where we're at and we love this campground and uh, we'll tell you about a situation about another campground we had issues okay. with earlier uh, before this one this is Guff Breeze Campground in Gus Shores on County Road 6, Gus Shores, Alabama. Yeah. Gracie, come, on. <laughs> come on, Gracie. Gracie, let's go up here. We use one of these little portable pooper scoopers so we can pick up the poop and, and uh, take it out. That's RV storage. You can, you can store your RV. Uh, store your RV behind the campground here and uh has tennis courts although the the netting needs to be tightened up and you can see it's fairly packed here you can see this is a good place to take the dogs let them do their business and they have a lot of activities for snowbirds and uh they have a michigan club they have karaoke night on friday night they have a pool indoor and outdoor they have all types of uh games that they play and stuff shuffleboard chatting yet anyway this is a nice place for the dogs to have a place to go to the restroom and uh run and play kind of get get maggie gets some of that energy out of her and uh gracie just of course just running around 
and uh, we even let the cat out a little bit. He got out of the RV and he's just been staying underneath the RV. Welcome back to the One Million Mile Road Trip. I'm Tommy. And I'm Medina. And we came back, uh, we left Tennessee and during a freezing, snowy, ice, icy rain and we were coming down to Gulf Shores to uh, stay for a month while we saw our doctors that are down here where we used to live and uh, so we came we had reservations first at a rainbow escape campground in magnolia springs and when we got down there before when we made the reservation they didn't say anything to me about having to pay the electric bill separate uh the they were going to charge me for 3.99 a month plus the electric bill at 11 cents kilowatt and uh when i uh, and it had to be escapee members also and uh, I told them that there's no way that anybody told me about that and I you know I, that I didn't have a problem with that but I wish somebody would let me know and the lady she was just told me that I, I was absolutely wrong I, she was really kind of rude about it but the big thing that kind of cost us to turn our back on that place was we have a cat named Moses as you know and Moses occasionally escapes from the RV so we he will come back he stays underneath the RV the whole time just about so she said that if our cat got out without warning without anything that she would just tell us basically we had to leave it and we'd lose our whole deposit and everything that just not was our, not feasible lose, lose everything rent, yeah. months rent and everything without even telling us a warning she said and she probably uh you know wasn't going to put up with that at all so i finally just said fine we'll leave well she said it was going to be a hundred dollar deposit we'd lose a hundred dollar deposit so I finally called the manager, the owner actually of the park, and they said that that was not the policy and that she would give me my $100 back and that if they did have this thing about the cat, but that she would have gave me two warnings before she would have uh, just thrown us out of the park. But what did the girl say about if you Oh, yeah, fight? this is the one thing, too. That's the one thing that got me. That got me about the whole thing because we were escapees. Uh, she told me, I said, well, I'm going to protest this $100 deposit. And before I talked to the manager, I said this. And she said, well, I tell you this, if you do, I'll make sure you never stay in another escapees park anywhere ever. And I told Thomas that uh, he needs, man, that's just, that's he pretty needs rough. to contact escapees and tell them what was said because she could. I mean, protest. that, you know, just for protesting it that was the thing now the manager we talked to and I don't have her phone number I've got it up there somewhere yeah uh, she was very uh, cooperative and very nice and she was not threatening like this girl was and um, I really appreciated her refunding my hundred dollars but I told her I was really fearful that this girl could blackball me through the escapers you know and she she didn't own the park she just worked there but this goes to show you kindness and cooperation and being nice to people is what customer service is all about not not that type of attitude and the problem i think is one of the big problems i think is there's so many there's not too many rv parks that are have openings and then when you do like that you got guess you can treat people the way you want to and uh but this uh well, medina this called we have we've stayed. stayed here four most, or five well, times we've stayed, this is the place we stay the most when we come to Gulf shores and they charge we she called <laughs> right as we were out there we were, i was just disheartened because i didn't like the way she was talking to us and treating us at escapees our, our rainbow uh it was rainbow uh campground escapees campground in manoia springs and uh, so she called this our old our place. It was seven hundred a month for, and that includes electricity, cable, water, and sewer. And uh, uh, so she called, and they had an opening all the way to February fourth. So we took it, and we've been down here. It is a very nice campground. It, uh, it they got a lot of activities here, and it's right here in the heart of of Gulf Shores. It's in Gulf Shores, right across from the little golf course. It has Publix shopping center here. It's got uh, Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly. It's Target. got uh, 
uh, yeah, Barnes and Noble, Fur Magazines, Coffee Shop, Starbucks, it's got Dairy Queen, and you're just basically about 10 minutes from the beach. And you're 10 minutes from Foley. 10 minutes from a, a hospital, and you're about three minute, three miles from the new emergency center near the airport. So, I mean, if you had to have medical treatment, they have a night, they have paramedics that are great in this area. I've worked with them, and they have life flight that flies out of here to Pensacola and the Mobile. It's something you had a serious When you say you've worked with accident. them, it's because you've worked here for 20 years. Yeah, I've, I, well, I, was over, I was on law enforcement here over 20 years, so paramedics were here right. with us, and I know they're top notch. So anyway, we're going to show us coming into the park and where we parked out here and tell you if I was going to stay in the Gulf Shores area, this would be one of the parks that I would choose even if I don't, I hadn't stayed here before because bath houses are clean, the showers are hot and uh, we've, we've used them here. Uh, and if you have animals and you would like to be in a, what we consider the best location, it is down next to the tennis courts. Just ask them to put you down near the tennis courts. Yeah, well, you'll because, see it in a video yeah, where we take the, the dogs to run. Yeah, because that's the taking the dogs. Dogs can run and do their business, and you can dispose of it, too, up there. And uh, But we love this campground. The people are nice. they got pretty good security to drive through here at all times of night. That You get cable, you get uh, water, sewer, and electric 50-amp, 30-amp. 700 a month 700 a month and there's the, activities the going on yeah there's uh, usually every friday and saturday and thursday they've got bingo or they've got karaoke or saturday morning breakfast all those kind of things that are going on and they also at some point they'll have a craft sale where anybody in the campground that does crafts they can set up in the building and sell yeah i noticed they were selling some type of raffle tickets too down there as we came in some of their been they have the michigan club meets here all the people from michigan and other northern states but you know we're not from the northern states but we still this area here has got you know people are just super nice in the campground we haven't had any problems at all here and we like it and the fact that where we're located it it was we were trying to save some money at the other spot and try something new but you know I'll pay a little bit extra money and not have to put up with somebody being rude. Hope you enjoyed the video. Listen, please push that subscribe button and uh, subscribe to the channel and click that little bell so you know that when the next video comes up. We're currently putting out three videos a week if everything goes right. And uh, come visit us another time. We really would appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. Hope to see you on the road. Thank <laughs> you.